5 a.m. Preparation for the shift. Edmund Eddie Irincunda, M.D., is a third-year resident physician in the University of Cincinnati Emergency Medicine Program. Dr. Irincunda is preparing to start his day. It's five in the morning right now, and so usually this is the time that I get up in the morning while everybody else is still sleeping for this 7 a.m. shift. And so let's go ahead and get ready for the day. Uh, it's time to make some breakfast right now. I always feel like if I do not eat breakfast, that's the first mistake going into any sort of shift. So. I always try to eat breakfast as much as I can before going into work. And everybody's favorite coffee mug. <laughs> Breakfast is done now, so we'll go ahead and get started. It looks to be a snowy day here in Cincinnati, and so we'll probably need to leave a little bit early to clean the snow off the car and to make sure that we get there in time. After breakfast, he gets into his scrubs, grabs his badge and vest before he leaves for the day. Hi, Kimani. Daddy's going to work now. Can I have a hug and kiss? He locks up the house, hops in the car, and makes the four-minute commute to UC Medical Center. I'm here in the parking garage now, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start walking into the hospital here. So, usually, a lot of times that I'm walking through this morning, it's just game planning for the rest of the day, but I think it's going to be a good day at the end of the day. Okay, this is our entrance to the campus. There we go. Guys, right here. Hey, guys. Are you back? Hi. I am. Hi, guys. Hi. This is our shoe. Some minor changes have been done, but overall, it's still the same. 7 a.m. Each time a physician or resident arrives for their shift, they must transfer their patients to ensure a seamless transition of care. Third-year residents manage the care of eight beds in APOD and oversee patients who come to the SRU. The SHRU receives patients in need of critical, life-saving care. So after sign out, it's now time to clean the desk with COVID and everything happening. And so now we'll go ahead and reassess the patients who are coming in. And it's seven o'clock, so the nurses are switching out as well. So uh, we'll readdress from there. How are you doing? This is Ross, one of our best. Good morning. <laughs> and this is Kate, one of our fine third year residents. So it's now time for morning report. And given that it's a Tuesday, that means that the good Dr. Otten is either doing a toxicology lecture or something similar to that. So let's go see what they're doing. 7.30 a.m. Before starting his rounds, Dr. Erin heads to his daily morning report. 
Every day between 7.30 and 8 a.m., one of the attending physicians presents a hypothetical but possible real-life medical scenario to interns, second, and third-year residents. This is in preparation for their board certification after residency, which must be completed in order to practice medicine. On this morning, Edward J. Otten, MD, professor in the Department of Emergency Medicine at the UC College of Medicine and a UC Health physician, leads the group through a toxicology case. Once education ends, Dr. Irinkunda returns to APOD and walks through each bed to check on his patients. He listens carefully to their concerns and discusses their treatment plans. Okay, we're now going to walk over to B-Pod and talk with our fourth year resident as well as our intern and see how they're doing over there. This is the lovely R4 R1 uh, mentorship going on right here in real time. This is the SRU or the SRU. Uh, this is where the third year residents are in charge of all the patients that come in through this part of the department. The SRU is one of those places where for the timid, it'll bolden you. And then for those who have some pride, it can easily humble you as well. But this is where we learn how to be efficient physicians taking care of some of the critical patients that roll into the department. And so for everybody who comes in through this program, the third year experience is uh, is epitomized by really being able to function as a resuscitationist and being a leader of a team in taking care of some of the sickest patients here in Cincinnati. Working at the R3 desk, you also have medical squads that come through with patients and they come here at the box here. And so at the R3, you have frontline access to this area as well. Dr. Irinkunda's shift has been steady so far, but that changes quickly. One of his phones he carries on him rings. So as a third year resident, we have a couple of phones that we carry. We have the third year resident phone, and then we have our Southwest EMS telephone as well that we carry, which all departments from the Southwest Regional uh, area will call, and uh, we are the online medical control for, for that region. So this telephone is something that the third year resident carries here in the department, and it's on us the entire time uh, when EMS tries to reach us for medical direction. So we just had a patient come in through the SRU. It seems to be a traumatic injury to the lower extremity. Um, so in times like this, we have a lot more hands-on given the current uh, patient volumes that we have. So it's always nice to have those extra set of hands. Um, but right now, we're gonna get the little started, get some x-rays, and then go from there. So part of the work that we do is dealing with the reassessment of patients. And so right now, I have a few patients who we ended up uh, getting ready to transfer. I have a few active patients who are in the SRU. Um, our consultants are currently seeing them, so that helps things right away. And so with it being mid-morning shift right now, the biggest things are staying hydrated, talking to your patients, making sure all the active plans that you had for the patient are uh, progressing in the way that you would like them to be. So at this point, we'll continue waiting for the new patients to roll in, make sure the patients that are already here uh, have active plans that are in process, and then go from there. Hi, Bronwyn. Good, how are you? Good. You're on camera. I'm on my ultrasound <laughs> rotation. It's my first day. How's it going? It's going so great. We've looked at hearts, lungs. We just did a soft tissue exam. We think we found a hernia. Awesome. A lot of fun. And how long is that shift usually? Uh, today is eight hours, nine to five. Okay. And how? Good wellness rotation. Awesome. And how many rotations do you guys usually get? 
Ulsan. How many shifts do you usually get? Oh, um, yeah. I think I have like 10 or 15 Ulsan shifts this month. It's really nice because when I'm in B-Pod and I'm kind of stressing my patients, I don't always have enough time to fully devote to thinking about the scan, putting an ultrasound guided IVs. So it's nice to have dedicated time to gain the skills and be able to look at everything. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. So right now we got a call about a patient who's coming in, seizing with altered mental status. And at this point appears to be Hypoxic requiring a lot of oxygen supplementation and his blood pressure is significantly elevated. Concern for this point, possible seizure versus a head bleed given the patient says his history of this as well. So we'll quickly see him when he rolls into our SRU, get his workup started and make sure that we can stabilize him for the CT scan and then go from there as soon as he arrives. So our day is now almost over. Um, Towards the end of the shift there, we had some pretty sick patients that came in. Uh, we had a cold stroke, we had a STEMI. They were stretchers that, three stretchers that were waiting in the hallway. So it was a busy end of a shift there, but um, it's this is what we signed up for. This is uh, why we come to work every day to um, definitely take care of the sickest patients. So that was a good end of the shift there. 3.07 p.m. Time to wrap up his shift and head home. Before he leaves, Dr. Aaron Kunda fills in the new resident on his patients, ensuring he knows every important detail. The uh, shift is now over, and so it's now time to go home, decompress, say hi to the family, and I just want to say thank you for spending some time uh, with us here today and getting a glimpse into what it's like to be a resident here at the University of Cincinnati. Take care.